Hello everyone, and welcome back. In today's video, we are going to be doing a tutorial on auto-switching statuses like sounds utilities. This is extremely simple, and um, yeah, I just decided to do a tutorial on it because it's highly requested. But yeah, it is extremely simple, so um, I'll show you guys how to do it right now. And um, so first of all, we're going to be creating an array of all of our statuses and types, or like modes that the status can be. And then we're going to be picking a random one from the array and then deriving the type and the status from it and then setting the client status as those two um, statuses. So um, that might sound a bit confusing, but um, let's just code it and hopefully you'll understand. So let's create our um, array now. Const status array is equal to, and I'm just going to put some random stuff. Fortnite playing. Um general chat watching and then um, maybe like music or something and then listening so basically the format the, the, sorry the format um, is gonna be your like words that are gonna show up in the status itself so for example like if if your status is gonna be playing a game and then you'll see like some like it would just be Fortnite, and then that's basically what it is. It's gonna be the one below the playing a game when you like select their profile, and that's gonna be the text there. And then the playing will result in playing the game, and um, yeah, that's basically it. This is just the type, and this is the text that is gonna show up. So just do that for the rest of them. You can make as many as you want. I know there's a bunch that you could make, but I just couldn't think of any other ones besides these cringe ones, like playing Fortnite, cough, cough. And um, now we're just going to do set interval. So set interval is used when we want to do something um, in the period of time over and over. So it's basically like a loop, but like in a period of time. So for example, if I wanted it to be every three seconds, I'd put 3,000 milliseconds as my time. And basically, whatever I put in here will repeat every three seconds after it has finished. So now let's get a random selection from our array. So this is really easy. Const random is equal to status array and then math.floor and then math.random multiply by status array the length and now um we will have derived a random selection from this array um so for example if it just randomly picked general chat watching um that's what we would end up with but however we don't want this full string what we want is to split it into two which would be the text and the type so to do that we're going to use this split operator and um, use a comma and then don't forget the space here and then basically what this does is it searches for the comma and the space in the array and then it will split these two parts that it splits it from into two different um, into two different um, like strings in an array so for example if you were to console log this this would literally um, output to be like this so for example if it clicked like playing, playing Fortnite. Sorry, I can't talk right now. Playing Fortnite, it would be like, oops, forgot to put quotation marks. Playing, and then a separate string saying Fortnite. Wait, no, Fortnite. Hi, I, I literally am having a mental breakdown right now. Fortnite, and then playing. So we started off with this, and we've split it up into two different strings in an array. Now that we have this, it's fairly simple to just um, use index. Um, numbers to derive these from the array. So, for example, const status is equal to, and then our random, and then index zero. So, index zero is actually the first. So, in code, it starts from zero and then goes up from there. And then const like type or mode, I'll just do mode, is equal to random index of one, which would be the second one. So, now after that, we can do client.user.set activity, and let's do our status. Oops, and then wait, what is it doing? 
and then our type, which is our mode. Um, and yeah, you're pretty much done after that. Now let's just file save, terminal, new terminal, node space dot. Oh, um, yeah, okay, so I'm back. We've gotten an error, and I just realized I forgot to delete this. So let me do that really quick. File save, and now let's try this again. Okay, and now let's switch over to Discord. <laughs> Okay, so we are currently in Discord, and as you can see, our uh, random status is now working, so it's listening to music, and if we wait a few seconds, then it should switch to something else, playing Fortnite, and um, yeah, so as you can see, it says playing the game, and then Fortnite underneath it, like I said earlier, and um, yeah, that's basically it for this tutorial, I hope you did enjoy, and um, I'll see you guys next time, peace.